We're out here, Raleigh Durham International, chilling. First stop of our trip to Europe. Me and Jake are gonna be out there for three weeks. We're gonna stop at Lunar for one week, go up to Amsterdam for a wakeboard street jam, and then be traveling around Northern Europe. Maybe go to Germany, maybe go to France. We're not really sure yet, we'll just kind of see. We're gonna be uploading one of these vlogs every single day, as well as stacking footage for like a full trip edit. So check back every single day for another update on the vlogs and just what we're getting into, what we're up to, travel tips. Uh, so right now, while we're waiting for this first flight, me and Jake are both gonna go over what's in our camera bags, what we're bringing, and what our carry-ons look like. Break in here. First up, we got the dad cam. And the HDX 1500. Super hyped on it, 4K60. Super crispy, you know the deal. This is my mirrorless camera, the Lumix G85 with the 1260 on it. This is just the kit lens that came with it. Don't use this thing too much anymore since I got the dad cam, but hopefully we'll put it to use on this trip. And then just in here, just in case I want to take some RC, RC type shit, we got the, the Instamax ready for some Polaroid pics. All right guys, got a pretty beefy camera bag here. It's a Manfrotto Pro Light something. I'll try to find a link to it on Amazon, but it's always been a super nice bag. I recently kind of changed the whole, or my whole video setup. Before I had two really big old 3C CD sensor cameras that one would fit in this bag and I had to carry it around a whole nother bag. So I actually have uh, three cameras in this bag right now. Pretty much all the tech stuff I'm gonna need for the whole trip. So I'm super stoked on that. Kind of stoked to just consolidate some of the gear. Here we just got GoPro floaty stuffed in to help make this fit a little better. This is the GH6, just got this thing a few weeks ago. Definitely super hyped on it. I just have a pretty cheap uh, Tac Star uh, shotgun microphone on here. It's like 30 bucks. I'll link this in the description as well. It's a really good budget uh, microphone for vlogging. Right now I have the 45 to 200 lens, which is a little long but Jake has the same lens mount, which is just micro four thirds for his camera. So I plan on having his 12 to 60 on here for most of the trip. And then either this 45 to 200 or the 100 to 300 for any long lens stuff. Uh, yeah, word. GH6, brought an old pair of Beats that I got like in middle school. I'll use these for editing while I'm on the plane. Um, it's just nice to have like comfy over the ear headphones. Uh, if I'm gonna be on like a 10 hour plane ride editing the whole time. Got a little battery bay for the GH6. So for this trip, I'm bringing three GH6 batteries, two off-brand ones, and one genuine Panasonic one. I think that should be enough, but we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on that. More chargers, just like my MacBook charger, phone charger, GoPro charger. Cool, and then right here in this pocket, we just got the GoPro case. We're using my GoPro right now. But uh, yeah, I just have like a wind muff basically for if I'm doing any POV stuff, riding on the water. I have a hard drive in here, a couple of random mounts and SD cards, one extra battery. Also have this on camera light. This is super nice. I figured like while we're hanging out at Street Jam, if everyone's like camping, having a good time, it'll be really nice to be able to throw this light on the GH6 and just get some, some B-roll of everyone hanging out. Now this thing I'm super stoked on. I've never really been much of a drone guy. I've always had much more of like a core kind of skater style filming like bag and equipment, but we're kind of switching up the vibe a little bit. We got the nice mirrorless camera. Just got this drone like three or four days ago, DJI Mini 2, uh, fly more kit, three batteries, controller. It all fits in the bag super nice, just in that one little cubby. The super nice part about this bag is just all the little extra pockets. So in here, I got some extra propellers for the DJI. I got some Bluetooth headphones that are like waterproof-ish that I can ride with. A uh, couple of microfibers. I guess I got like three in there. And then, yeah, that's it for up there. And then in these pockets, we just got more cords, uh, more charging stuff to like plug the camera in and some other, other stuff. In here, we have one of these units um, just for cleaning sensors or the GoPro while I'm riding, whatever. Here is the light, batteries, and charger. So that all fits in there. And then in these side pockets over here, I got ND filters. So here I have the ND filters for the drone. Um, these came with the drone, but they're pretty essential if you're trying to keep your shutter speed on point the whole time. 
Uh, so I like using those over here. I just got this filter as well. This is a variable ND filter. Jake hasn't seen this yet, but I'm pretty hyped on it. I'll link this in the description as well. Oh, do you? I didn't bring it. But I nice. Yeah, so this is like 100 bucks, and it's got the variable ND. It's three to seven stops, so it gets lighter and darker. And then it's also a built-in polarizer, which they're all polarizers, but the problem with these variable NDs is a lot of times when you turn the variable ND to make it darker, your polarizer won't actually be helping fight any reflections in the light. So this thing gets kind of two in one, and then I have some adapter rings to fit on all the lenses that me and Jake brought for the for our mirrorless cams. This bag's super nice. It's got a laptop pocket as well. So I have my MacBook in here along with a little notebook. I'm real into journaling and just like always making lists. So this bag is pretty sick and it does fit as a carry-on. I was able to squeeze it in the little bin. So yeah, I'm super stoked on this bag and super stoked to actually be utilizing it for everything as opposed to just like carrying one camera and like some lights and two ridiculously heavy fish eyes. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's what we're working with here. Oh yeah. Sick setup, bro. Yeah. All right, we're keeping in that. So I'm not really sure how it's gonna go, but me and Jake both brought skateboards as well. Jake has like a ridiculously large like 10-0 egg. Wow. <laughs> um, and they definitely keep talking about how the flight is full for overhead baggage. So uh, yeah, we'll see and keep you guys updated on the skateboards and how all that goes. But like I said, we'll be posting one of these videos every day the whole time we're on this trip. So for the next three weeks, so stay tuned for that. On the next one, hopefully we're in Spain at Lunar and have already taken our first laps. You, see you guys soon. It is currently mid-buff. We are on the plane with skateboards. Mid-buff. <laughs> <laughs>